What up, squad? What's poppin'? Y'all ready for another reaction video? All right, so peep it. Next up, we got why does Lord Jamal hate Eminem? Simple question. Not so simple. Answer, drop a comment. If y'all don't know who Math Hoff is, check him out, man. Battle rapper, dope, real dope. Legend in the game. Really set it off for battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Set the tempo. Shout out to all the heavy hitters in it. Shout out to Cassidy. Shout out to all of them. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Murder Mook, man. One of Eminem's big supporter, man. He he recognizes talent. And Murder Mook and Nasty, bro. Math Hoffa has a way of politely, but not so politely pressuring you. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're giving a bullshit answer, like, you know, he basically like, come on now. So let's get into it. Let's check it out. Uh, Lord Jamal's in the building. Peace. Now, I was trying to think of all the ways I could set this off, and I came up with one way that I felt like, okay, this is, this is cool. See what I'm saying? Why do you hate Eminem? See what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Whoa. You gotta love it. You gotta love Why it. He knows how to do it. Somehow <laughs> feel like... You gotta love it. <laughs> this was gonna go in that direction at some point. Did I feel like he was gonna try to jump out the window from Giddy Street? I didn't think he was gonna go that no. far either. But I thought he was gonna get um, there somehow. Bro, first of all, right. I don't even really, you know, according to- I have, cause that's one thing I do notice is he does try to brush it off. He knows, cause he's an MC, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, MC study other MCs. Whether he wants to play it or you, he he knows he respects the talent, man. Lord Jamal knows he respects the talent. According to his fans, mm -hmm. every time I speak, mm -hmm. I speak about him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which we know is not factual, mm -hmm. but I don't even like to get in it no more. Like it was never about hating Eminem, right? It was just. It was just stating facts. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Just stating facts. Right. We, hip hop is black, black music. We created this shit. As the creators, we decide right. who our goats are. Right. That's it. Okay. Not record sales, not record companies, not white people, not any other people other than black people mm. and you and know, what right latino thank you <laughs> no i was gonna say that i was gonna see if, that's why i give him his respect because it's true puerto ricans was there you go everybody knows it and i always said this man why ain't we getting our props bro because we was there at the beginning of hip-hop and you know it you know it like we been there bro south bronx all that yo we you know what i'm saying we was the breakers we was the, you know what i'm saying we was the turntable you know, five elements of hip-hop. We was in every single one of them. So I got to give him props for calling that out because a lot of people just say black, and it's not, bro. Puerto Rico's been there from the beginning. So shout out to Lord Jamal for that. I appreciate you for saying that. And I apologize for being such an asshole at the beginning and trying to troll because I, I really, I, I got to respect that. I got to respect that because we've been there from the beginning and I'm so sick of people saying and not giving us our props due. So thank you. <laughs> because we was the ones that started yeah, true. this shit right in true, the beginning true so we decide so well, when you got people coming up oh eminem is the goat he sold most records we're like real hip-hop motherfuckers don't care about record sales like that's true MC hammer was selling mad that's records. true but eminem was selling mad records right. like that ain't regular the criteria of what makes you good mm -hmm. and at the end of the day you're not gonna hijack this shit from us and tell us who we fuck with. Right. When you say MC Hammer, Ice T was selling mad records. I said MC Hammer and Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would have been a big mistake. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a big mistake. Um, why do you think they were so popular? Because it was pop music. Pop mm. music is short for popular music. Like, right. And it was just but you know, it was popular mainstream. music. It was shit that white people could fuck with. Mm. So that's why, you know, black people will listen to a lot of music, but as far as being the purchasers of it, 
You know what I mean? It's really <laughs> females and white people. You know what I mean? Right. Like, they're the ones that really... So he's switching it up a little bit. Well, not switching it up. He's going deeper into what he meant. And I understand that because in reality, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, minorities really didn't have the money. Like, we would, we would record it. Like, that's why we love the Maxwell tapes when they came out, man. Hot 97, bro. You put on uh, Hot 97, put that, you know what I'm saying, 60 minutes... Record that bitch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you got your whole you got everything that's out right now. And that's why we loved it back in the day. But um yeah, the purchasers were, you know, people that really we, we dog, it would be like five of us. We'd all save up for a CD and then we run, you know what I'm saying? And, and I love that. That's what I try to make the channel like something like that. Like, you know, how we would read the credits, go over everything. Um, it was pretty dope, but let's get back into what he's saying. Music like mm. dudes. You know, mm -hmm. it really takes some shit for us to go out and buy some shit. We're not going to just buy anything. Like, we're not just going to, so, you know what I mean? So as a pioneer, as I know coming up um, in, in the early eras of hip-hop, the reality was a real important yes, thing. Yes, reality like was. Like, what your background yes. was. Yes, Um, The message that you spread. Yes. Your, your lyricism. But Eminem was... When you make those things... uh. A value, or you make those things. Uh, this is, this is where, the bar is, and if I want to be great, I want to push this bar. Is it? A, does it hinder you from success? And is well, first answer that question. Then I got a question right after. Wait, what? What, what are you talking about? What, like, is what hinder uh, you? The from lyrical, the, the most lyrical guys. Uh huh. They probably won't be the guys that's selling the most records. Right. Why is that? Because... And this is a question for anybody. If yeah. Jump in if you well, want. Well, I'm in two first. I got... Yeah, I would say because <clears throat> it's, the, it's basically the education of the masses. Like, the bigger you go, the more mainstream of the masses you're going to be. The more people that are not necessarily into hip-hop but, but will like a catchy yeah. song will start fucking with your shit. Yep. Right. Um, so you're starting to go outside of the scope of the people that can appreciate yep. and then it becomes, lyricism. Then it becomes pop. Right. Yep. So once it crosses that and line into the pop, pop genre, a lot of the criteria that we hold high is, is gone. gone. They don't give a fuck yep. about that. They just want to know, can they sing along to it and blah, 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 but blah, blah. But that's why I'm so dope and, because he um, checks A lot of times boxes. lyricism doesn't lend itself to that. Mm. You know what I mean? Sing songy rap lends itself to that because you can attach yourself to that very easily and it translates well overseas and shit like that with mm -hmm. other languages uh, and shit like that. that. Right. So they might not know how to speak, speak English, but they can do that sing songy type of rap. Right. When you like, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you really spitting, so they're what, tongue tied. Right. So, what is the attraction then to be? A lyricist, smoke. Why do you rap like that? Why do you, you nah, know what I mean? mean like, if nah. we know, all right, like, okay. Yo, I want to hear. Smoke's if we know opinion, bro. Fifty Cent, he signed to to Dr. Dre, and M, and he simplified his shit. Yep. Cause he didn't rap so no, much like that before. True. He did a little bit. He became no, no, but he became very straight, direct, simple, following melodies and all that. Um. So why be a lyricist? I mean, I feel like lyricism is, that's a part of rap. Like, that's, that's, why, I started, that's why I fell in love with rap. Mm -hmm. but, you know what I mean? From, from niggas that made me think. Yeah. Like nowadays, a lot of people don't want to think. Mm -hmm. But then it's music for them. Yep. Agreed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like for me, when I go overseas, and I'm a rapidy rap ass nigga. Right. Yeah, right. it is. <laughs> but when That's I why go, your name is when Smoke. I, like, for instance, when I went to Japan, the niggas knew everything. Mm. Every word. Every. Yup. They liked what when they gonna I, like. They like. They like it. They would. Yeah. It's nothing but Japanese MCs and Japanese shit going on before I got there. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. It's my first time. About two thousand people. So I'm like, all right. Well, maybe they got. You know what I mean? Maybe it's another person here that. That's rocking. That, that's just me selling myself short. It's in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, so, you know, they be talking to chap shit, uh, uh, you know what I mean? And then he say my name, and they make a little noise. So I'm like, damn. 
But as soon as I stepped foot on the stage, I, I had to look behind me to see if it was another nigga there. And then when I started going with my shit and hitting with the ride, and the whole crowd was like, ride. I'm like, oh shit, these niggas speak English. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these, so, these are my people. Right, these are my people. So right. I feel like when you do what you do, people are gonna gravitate to it regardless, because it's 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 something for everybody. You know what I mean? And me, like, I feel like I patent after the greats. You know what I mean? Like everybody that I seen doing it before me. Right. So who am I to fuck tradition up? Mm. And I just want to say to that question also, I think it's all about who you respect. You know what I mean? That who part. you look up to. True. Like, like for some people, it's all about who are they rapping for. Some niggas, it's like they look up to a Nas or they look up to the lyric, lyrical MCs. So it's like right. they want to write some shit so that if these niggas hear them, They'd be like, respect him. Yeah, they would respect them. Oh. Right. Some niggas don't care Big about facts. that. They just writing for girls or they writing for money or, you know what I mean, to sell drugs or whatever the case may be. So it yeah, all because... depends on what you hold in high regard and the people that hold lyricism in high regard are people that respect other lyricists. So ask him. Uh, I, I wanted to highlight, because even when we talk about lyrical records, like there are, Eminem, even mentioned him, he's lyrical. Yeah. To the, I mean, all the way power, and he sold tons of records. Right. But, but my point is, though, with lyricism, I also want to highlight it's the message. That it's not so cool. much somebody lyrical because you can have a dumb song with mad lyrics and it's mad. No, dumb, but no, 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 no. I can't wait till he gives the example because lyricism is lyricism. What you mean by lyricism is that you could take a song. Play with words, whatever, get your message across and, and the message is just dope. And it don't matter what the message is. It's just the fact that you was able to take these lyrics, flip these words, you know what I'm saying? And compound these similes, bro, and just be off the wall. It's all there. So it doesn't mean the message. I mean, I, I just disagree with that. But I see what he's trying to get at. Because for some people, it is the message. And it's definitely the message for me. But I'm saying that don't mean that you're not lyrical but let me let me let me let him finish example of that i don't know i don't, I don't make them i don't See? know i don't remember I, them songs right. like that but i'm just saying to off the head but that you can have a record mad lyrical but not really saying much so i never heard one more message rap some of these songs even a sing-along trust me if you had a real message you could sing it too right but there's no message and you know what i mean so i think um shit that go far it's the message with it so maybe sometimes yeah Positive, cause just cause you lyrical, cause you might say it to a fifteen okay, like yeah, lyrical and thing. No, you could be talking street shit, all types of shit with lyrics, but what's the message? All right, man. I feel like I was clickbaited, but anyways, man, that was dope. Um, the only thing I could say is I appreciate, you know what I'm saying. I appreciate the fact that you know I just feel like yo, you could be lyrical. And the message doesn't have to be one that you resonate with. But that don't mean you ain't lyrical or that don't mean it's not dope or whatever. Like, you know, there's something for everybody. I had to learn that because I was just all about lyricism and about how parallel is what you're talking about with your actual living situation before hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Before you made it to become a big star. Was it something you walked out of your house and seen every day? Was it something you lived? Because if it was something that you walked out of your crib and seen every day, you could put that in your in your songs. But if it's something that, yo, you live in the suburbs, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, the medium household is 250K. And yet you talking about, you know what I'm saying? I got barely food to eat. You know what I mean? I, I got to go out and get it. You know what I'm saying? Right out the mud. Then... I feel like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? What are you talking about? What the fuck do you know about that? Why should I listen to you talk about that? Like, you know anything about that. You, kn But I, the way it is now, people can do that. I just remember back coming up, that was corny. And I still believe it's corny, but hey, there's something for everybody. If you good at it, if you good at it, you good at it. Because at the same time, I could, you know, I could listen to somebody that whether I don't know whether they do that or not, but if it resonates with me, I'll listen to it. But then when I find out that he has nothing to do with that life, I probably will be like, ah, oh, that's just cornball. You know what I'm saying? But that's just me, which 
probably could be corny in itself, you know, me thinking the way that I think. But hey, it is what it is. We, the good thing is, man, hip hop's here and it's here to stay, man. It's stronger than ever. It's, you know, the dominating genre of music. If y'all want to check that out without my rambling, go over there, check it out, get them views up. I'll be that boy, our dish. Peace, deuces, gone.